is better. I had to reinstall some uh, codecs, and uh, I think this kind of messed up things a little bit. <laughs> Cappy hat. Uh, yeah, now I'm seeing monitors now, um, so you should be able to hear me. If you... And there you go, okay. So I have no plans for tonight. Well, kind of. I was going to start chopping up uh, videos for the next Grand Theft Audio stuff. And I think the next uh, next, vix well, the next vix victim for the next video should probably be a Retro Man Cave again. <laughs> um, but let me just uh, do uh, some stuff here. Where is my uh, yeah, rave stream? Look at broadcast, uh, and this should not be. Yeah. Eventuality. I'll just apply. There you go. Okay, cool. It's working. So I have this video. I remember I saved a video at a time, and I was like, oh, that'd be cool for the next one. So I'm essentially just going to go through it once or twice. And just um, <laughs> just try to spot anything that could be <laughs> that could be exploited. Uh, so we're talking funny stuff, um, most likely stuff that could be misinterpre misinterpreted uh, and uh, lewd or that kind of stuff. Anyway, oh, I haven't set up my uh, stream deck for this setup either. Um, let me do that. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Although terrible fire is going to show up at some point, I'll have to use it. But anyway. Eventuality. I'll just apply it around the frame itself. I'm not worried about that backboard. We'll tackle that in a moment. And you don't want to watch paint dry. So let's hit fast forward on Neil. Come on, paint faster, man. Once the first coat is dried, I put on a second coat to get a slightly deeper color. And then I don't want the wood backing to be visible through the game boxes, and it will be because the games are all different shapes and sizes. So I've decided to line it with this black material, which I had left over from cladding the wall frames that we built in previous episodes. Okay, I think we can move all that. Um, we're essentially just going to watch the video first. I'm going to chop stuff I've already saw. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. I don't know why. I, it felt like something I could exploit at some point. This episodes, and I'm just stapling that straight into place with a staple gun. Seems to do the job, and I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. <sighs> it's just the way it says it. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. Although the audio is going to be... More than enough for what we need here. Um is going to be parasitic, but there's ways to extract just the voice, although we might lose in quality. But this is just too tempting not to, uh, not to use. It's going to be very childish, by the way. <laughs> All the stuff we're going to pick is going to be... The next step is to create that display of big box games. That's what she said moment. Um, and that's harder than it looks. While a lot of games stick to fairly uniform sizes, there's plenty of variety in the box sizes. It's like a great big game of Tetris, only there's plenty of variety in the box sizes. I'd say 70% of them we won't use, but I can't let stuff like that pass. <laughs> Poor Neil. <laughs> there's, plenty, there's plenty of variety in the sizes. There's, there's, there's plenty of there's plenty of variety in the box sizes. It's like a great big game. Like I said, it's going to be uh, very, very childish. But the more little samples like that we have, the more we can chop. It's like uh, a great big game of Tetris, only one where I want to lose the game and fill up all of the lines. I nearly achieved perfection, but I did have to use a cassette in the middle to get that final space in, in a way that I thought was about right around about the center of the display because it should be hidden there but we'll find out towards the end if i've hit the center or not i really enjoyed putting this display together i'm like everything can be can be distorted really but uh 
Let's see, we can do a second pass anyway. But we'll find out towards the end if I've hit the center or not. I'm trying to get moments as well. Like these are, are interesting, but it's just the voice. Think... What's actually interesting is to get him on camera as well while he's talking. So there's a whole section there that could be used. But we'll find out towards the end if I've hit the center or not. I really enjoyed putting this display together. I must have looked at it over a hundred times now, and it still gives me a huge nostalgia hit every time I. And it still gives me a huge. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. Uh, and it still gives me a huge. Yeah. We should probably pass the stream as uh, over eighteen. And it still gives me a huge. I'm gonna cut here and whatever we can. Nostalgia hit every time I look at it. So I think I'm doing something right here. Hopefully you agree and you get the same feeling when you see it. Agree and you get. Uh, again. You get the. You get the same feeling when you see it. Yeah, save, save, save. To protect the games, I've got some Perspex sheets. They're as large as the supplier was willing to ship them to me without fear of the breaking. So there is a split down the middle and it's we'll hide that fire. with some wooden cladding. There's already some pearls here. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. And it still gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. There's no shortage of it. His voice is just fantastic as well for stuff like to that. To protect the games, I've got some Perspex sheets. They're as large as the supplier was willing to ship them to me without fear of the breaking. So they're right down the middle and we'll hide that with some wooden cladding. Next, I went ahead and very, very carefully drilled holes in it. The last thing I wanted to do was crack these sheets. crack these sheets no and you can see it's got a lightly smoked finish which i'm hoping will give it and you can see it's got a lightly smoked finish which i see it's got a i mean see it's got a it's got a lightly smoked finish it's got a lightly smoked finish there's something about that line we got to have which it which i'm <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's got a and he, what's great about Neil is, uh, and that's true of a lot of YouTubers that are successful, um, especially the presenters. Um, you hit the center of that crack. Yeah, stuff like that is too explicit, probably. Um, I think we're looking for secret, secretly, secretly uh, smutty stuff. But um, no, there's a, there's, a, and he, he, there's a great quality that a lot of successful YouTubers have. Uh, especially YouTubers like him, like Gaming Historian, like KLGR, like the, the ones I did is that they have very, they, they have a very natural rhythm in their delivery. Uh, if you look here, there, there's actually, um, there's actually a lovely rhythm. Like there was a, a actually right on. It's got a lightly smoked finish. It's got a lightly smoked finish. Finish like the, we got four beats and the N is almost on the last beat. Like I could actually probably slow it down slightly uh, to one, let's say one eighteen. Uh, no, sorry, uh, one twenty two. Speed it up. Yeah, and we should r be right on the. It's got a lightly smoked finish. I mean, that's uh, that's you know, it's just a natural rhythm that everybody has, but some people have it like perfect in their delivery in general and i can see here from the way the uh, the audio is you get the same feeling when you see it i mean again there's plenty of variety in the box sizes again um so yeah there's a really really cool rhythm in his uh, in his delivery which is perfect cadence to it yeah yeah absolutely yeah and it's uh edgy barn how are you doing we're um <laughs> which I'm hoping will give it a classy look while offering some UV protection to the artwork itself. A few finishing touches now, including the board down the middle, which goes to show that my cassette is not in the center of the display and it's still visible. So I'm going to need to get... I mean, even that... Play and it's, play and it's still visible. So cassette is not in the center of the display and it's still visible. So I'm going to need to get back in and shuffle the games around. No problem around it just like all that line and it just bang on on the uh on the beat it's remarkable no problem there 
And I've added a stained piece of CLS along the bottom to act as a kickboard. I've also routed it a little bit to accommodate the center board. And while it does also Actually, you probably don't hear the click track. Can you actually, I have the click track enabled. You can't, you probably can't hear it. Um, but if I do this, give me, I have a, I recorded these. <laughs> Um, I was just messing, uh, was it yesterday? But I don't know if we map this to playing, it's still visible. So I'm going to need to get back in and shuffle the games around. No problem there. And I've added a stained piece of CLS along the bottom to act as a kickboard. I've also routed it a little bit. So everything here is slightly like probably because I had, but if we align it also routed it a little bit to accommodate the center board and while it does offer some protection there's still a danger of the whole thing getting whacked by clumsy feet but there's always a balance to these things the risk versus the visual reward without impeding on the look you're trying to get but it's almost like a, a slam version but everything is uh, we can stretch the audio and the video afterwards but get by being overly cautious i'm happy with the overall finish to this I'm happy with the overall finish to this. I, I, I'm happy with the overall finish to this. Yep. <laughs> now what else? Wonder how many takes. Um, yeah, some people need more than I need a lot of uh, takes, even on simple lines, just because. Uh, uh, I speak like an ape, really, but it's just um, some people are a lot more natural than uh, others. I don't know. Yeah, it really depends on people. Even people who think are are sound natural, um, uh, they uh, you'd be surprised sometimes. They need a lot of rehearsing and takes, and some people just don't even write script. They can actually uh, ad lib a lot of that. Usually not, but. And I think and I hope that it's a really nice way to start your journey into the cave by coming up to this desk. Let's cover off a few more jobs now, starting with getting those cables tidy in the exhibition space. And I think and I think one thing that actually might help him is or that can help not necessarily him at all, uh, but it, that can help when you're doing voiceovers like that is to have the, the, the final music that you want to have to have that in your edited video before you start doing the voiceover. But it, it takes uh, some deliberate approach to e editing because usually you do the voiceover and the editing at the same time. But doing it the other way around, uh, doing the voiceover right after can actually help you having a rhythm. So you might just do a dummy t voiceover and then go over it with the music and sort of align your your voice with the, uh, with the music. And it tend to give you a more rhythmic delivery, but into the cave by coming up to this desk. Let's cover off a few more jobs now, starting with getting those cables tidy in the exhibition space. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place look. If trailing cables are hanging down behind desks, it's always going to look nasty. And it's a lot of desk to... It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place... It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place... Look, if trailing cables are hanging down behind desks, it's always going to. I mean, I try and make this place, it's always going to look nasty. Just the way you said nasty. And it's a lot of desk to sort out. If you look up cable trays specifically made for desks, it's going to get expensive, really expensive, very quickly. So I've sourced these three meter lengths of cable trays, which are normally used for more industrial applications. They're normally mounted overhead. And I paired them up with these. These are C-shaped support brackets. And the si and the last video I had filthy. This one was nasty. Yeah. This place is all but um, I picked this video because he, it's, I called it the retro sandwich because um, I think he mentions the retro sandwich a few times. And can't let that pass. Yeah, can't let that pass. Um, Sedona. Oh. Oh, you were, uh, you were, you are going there. Oh, is that the same fishing place you were um, in before?
and it's a lot of desk to sort out. If you look up cable trays specifically made for desks, it's going to get expensive, really expensive, very quickly. So I've sourced these three meter lengths of cable trays, which are normally used for more industrial applications. They're normally mounted overhead. And I've paired them up with these. These are C-shaped support brackets. And the size of the tray should mean that we have plenty of room for everything we could ever want to squeeze onto those desks. So that's how we'll tackle cable management. And while we're at it, I thought I'd upgrade the saddle clips on the desk. That's those clips, wooden tops to the scaffold poles. The ones I bought previously the scaffold poles. The ones I bought previously did the job, but I happened upon these much more substantial clips and I thought it would be worth swapping them out as we're under there, so we'll do that. The men for this job were our friends Dean and Mark, who carried out some minor adjustments. And I'm pleased to say that after ripping two pairs of trousers in as many episodes, Dean has treated himself to some new ones. These even have knee pads. Luxury trousers. Um, so while the guy... You are as a gun, you, I am making a... I'm, I'm, I'm sourcing material for a, a potential new GTA. I think we find a few... Uh, gems already so while the guys are working on that i decided it was time to install a sound system in the cave now don't get all audio file and snobby on me here this is to flood the cave out with low level ambient music it's to create a nice atmosphere while you're using the machines and of course it will have the added bonus of entertaining me while i'm making videos here i've got eight speakers in total all of which have a 100 volt transformer in them and a suitable amp to drive them and at this point, I must say a big, big thank you to Rob here from the YouTube channel, The Twingo Channel. He popped in to drop a few things off, including this beautiful PVM monitor. This is a 14 inch Sony. It supports 50 and 60 Hertz inputs. So it's really, really useful to have. And I'm sure the picture is going to look amazing. I wish I had a PVM. So it's really, really useful to have. And I'm sure the picture is going to look amazing. Not only that, he turned up with donuts and he volunteered his time to help us out. So thank you very much, Rob. And likewise to John, who also popped in, but he has evaded the camera. So uh, thank you also, John. To get cables to the speakers, I made use of the existing trays down the length of the cave, so that was nice and easy. Come on, Neil, it's been five minutes. And I put the amp in the storeroom. You haven't Propped come up, up on some anything, chocks yeah. just to keep it nice and cool. And like I said, it's functional, Fifth it's not feet. earth shattering, but it does have a good feature set for this particular space. Namely, I can leave an SD card in it and it will automatically play as soon as it's turned on so I can just set and forget it. It lets me connect by Bluetooth and I can get down the whole length of the cave while connected so I can just stream music to it. And clean up on aisle five, please. Clean, clean up on aisle five, please. No. Let's see how the cable trays are doing under the desks. Actually, let's save this because I've, this has saved us something else. Um, retro sandwich. Hey, didn't save. Okay. Let's see how the cable trays are doing under the desks. Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. The tra Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. It's a nice rhythmic um another rhythmic vibe about this. Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. The trays under the desks are going to do a great job and they're certainly in keeping with the scaffold design of the desk. I think it works really well. Let's just walk along the benches here and I think that's pretty inviting. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. And I think that's pretty inviting. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. Yeah. I told you this was going to be childish. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, you don't want it to be too much, but uh, I'll save this one just for now. 
probably won't use it. <laughs> Just, oh dear. No distractions. You, you, you want to thread that fine line where it's, uh, it's amusing, but not, you know, not, not just too, uh, too rude, really. Um, no distractions from hanging cables, just lots of nice micros and consoles to play on. In no particular order at the moment, I just grabbed what I could. Their order at the in no particular order at the moment, I just grabbed what I could. And of course, when it's all finished and we come to open, we'll have some logic to the way they're laid out, as well as information plaques and help on how to use them. But what we won't have is cable issues. That's the key here today. But again, it's a nice tidy finish for now. And over on the shaky cam now, you can see that the new saddle clips are much less likely to cause harm to anyone who catches themselves on them compared to the previous clips. Very nice. That very nice is there. And if I'm going to attract visitors, oh, add, add, add to your in your audience Squarespace for some. We've got a lot more to do and things are going well today, but let's just take a short break now to talk about something that was less successful this month and something that we need to reconsider. So, what have we had to change our mind on? Well, first, of this is the part that actually made me think I need to, uh, I need to do something with it. So what have we had to change our mind on? Well, first of all, I'm sorry if there's a bit of background noise. I've got all of the windows open. It's been such a hot week that I've got to get the air in here. In such a and it's been and it's been and it's been, it's been so what have we had to change our mind on? It's been such a hot week. That, yep. That I've got to get the air in here. The good news is if I open the windows front and back. The air does come through here, and that's really important. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here, or... <laughs> the air does come through here, and that's really important. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here, the air does come 30 bodies. And if we're going to have... Okay, okay. Here we go. If we're going to have... Please nobody tell Neil yet. <laughs> I, I want to send it to him first. When you... If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so... Uh, hey, you're right. How are you doing? We need to keep that temperature down. So that's good. We need to keep that temperature down. So that's good news. We need to keep that temperature down. So that's good news. It just means we can hear the weir, possibly if the mic's picking it up, crashing it down in the background. Anyway, things that we've changed our mind. It's such a beautiful setup where he, uh, where he is now. It really is. Anyway, things that we've changed our mind on. You remember we've got these satellite tables dotted around the exhibition area. The idea was to have power like this coming down to each table with an extension plank on the bottom so that we can have a system on each one without cables as trip hazards. However, we only did one and we thought this just isn't going to work really. As lovely as this braided red cable is, as lovely as this braided red cable is, and we thought this just isn't going to work really. There are too many dangers. For it. We only did one and we thought... This just isn't going to work, really. As lovely as this braided red cable is, there are too many dangers. For example, if a kid tries to climb in it, or, or an adult for that matter, uh, it's going to pull it out the junction box. Yes, we could replace that with a uh, in it, or I'm kind of saving stuff like or, that. Or an adult for that matter. Uh, it's going to pull out the trunk. It's going to pull out. The idea behind it, like here, you'll see is that I, I just thought it'd be cool to have a video where he implies that they're having an orgy, <laughs> an orgy in the man cave, in the retro man cave. And, uh, and, uh, I just like the, <laughs> like the idea, especially with his apron. It, it was just too tempting. So we'll see what we can make. And, uh, but it's something I want, I want to send it to him first. <laughs> Leo, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You've given oh, 252 uh, subs gifted, man. That's not... I mean, it's, thank you, stop. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs> um... 
Uh, it's going to pull out the junction box. Yes, we could replace that with a plug or something more quick. See, stuff like that is tempting. It's just a bit too... Place that with a plug or... No, no, I mean, you know. You, you, you want to you wanna stay on the, uh, on the edge of... Uh, I think more... Slightly lewd, but not rude. Um, it had to pay for expensive computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, it will. <laughs> it will in some ways, but it's okay. I mean, I remember last year people were like, "Why don't you put the uh, the goal, the next goal, you know, the instrument goal, as the computer?" And uh, like ha having the instruments or the extra instruments as goal because they're extras and they're not essentially needed or required. I can continue as as is with the instruments I have, so just extra. So it, it sort of makes sense. But stuff like a computer that I use for other stuff than other than the channel, and uh, and and my own use and all that, I, there's no way I could put that as a as a goal, um, donation goal, because it's just uh, it's infrastructure too. It's just uh, it's basic. So that's uh, that's for me to sort out. Um, Close to a bit. You're noticing the cap, yeah. Um, do you have a shop with those, actually, Leo? I think more quick release, but it's still a danger. If the table gets tipped over, well, that's going to rip it out of the socket, which is under here. There are just too many factors, and the only way, to, really, that we can think to secure that would be to put a solid pole down there, and then to put a solid B, to put a solid be maybe we can use that solid to put a dance solid pole. pole down there and then well it's gonna look like an exotic dancers club isn't it that's not here we go to put a solid pole down there and... and then well it's gonna look like an exotic it's gonna look like an ex it's gonna look like an exotic well it's gonna look like yeah. That's gonna look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That's club, isn't it? That's there we go. I am one of six to have the hat. Oh, it's it's limited ed edition. But thank you very much. I have the uh, the white hat as well. I think yeah, I think Fiona is wearing that one actually. Uh I'm not great with those hats, but it was actually very comfy. That's not the look I'm trying to get here at all. And thinking about it more as we introduce more things like the furniture for the tabletop gaming, uh, the museum type displays that we want to put in the other end of the room. As we put more and more stuff in here, I become more and more aware that there's less room for the, for the meat, <laughs> for the meat in the retro sandwich. Yes. I become more and more aware that there's less room So that there's less room for the for the for the meat <laughs> <laughs> jackpot. That was the one where I was like, I got to save this and do something with this. I'm just on that one line. For the meat in the retro sound. So I need to find um, retro being mentioned a few other times. Shouldn't be a problem. Maybe on other videos, but come up with a little chorus like where he goes retro, retro, retro sandwich or something like that. You people who come and visit, you need tables like this to sit at. You need benches, you need chairs. So actually, it's probably a much better idea if we just have these tables empty in the middle of the exhibition area. So you can bring your tabletop games, so you can put your coffee here, not next to the machines, so you can have your sandwiches or whatever. I think it's important that we have those spaces. And I'll compensate for that by having more benches around the perimeter of the exhibition space with more cable trays now that we know they're successful and um, more machine set up. So we're not going to lose out on the number of hands on machines. So we're not going to lose out on the number on the number of hands hands on machines, hands on machines, hands on machines, hands on machines. Mm. It's uh, perfectly rhythmic as well. You can't do that with everybody. That's the other thing. Uh, with the plans I'm concocting, we're actually going to get more machines than we would have originally had with these tables. 
So we're going to do away with this. It was a nice idea while it, la while it lasted. This, this, it was a nice it was a nice. It was. It was. That's so tempting. To it was use. a nice idea. Why it like? Why... <laughs> Sorry. Just uh, without the sound, just as a. Yes. It was a nice. <laughs> it was a nice. <laughs> oh, this is so childish. Nice idea. Why it la while it lasted, but I think it's the wrong idea for this space. What a shame. Nice idea. Why it la yeah. while it lasted, but I. I... Nice idea. Why it la while it lasted. Nice idea why it la while it lasted, but, but he, he stuttered on it, so nice idea why it nice idea why why it la while it lasted. So we can do some splicing here. Nice idea while it lasted. Nice idea while it lasted. Why it la while says why in the other one though nice idea while it lasted but yeah did but but i think it's the wrong idea for this space the wrong i wrong idea it's the wrong i think it whatever happens we can use that line i think it's the wrong idea for this space at the end of the i think it's the wrong idea for this space Actually, we could technically use that entire uh, line somewhere at the end. What a shame. How do I do it so far? What, the splicing? Nice idea while it lasted. Yeah, it just... It's... I've been doing this for a long time. It's time to work on a whole new corner of the cave now, and I'm kitting it out with these beautiful pigeonholes. They're lovely solid wood with lots of character. Uh, I mean, can't you let past whole new corner of the cave now, and I'm kitting it out with these beautiful pigeonholes. They're, lo they're lovely solid wood with. <laughs> <find it>, so... <laughs> Is this just me? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. A lovely solid wood. With <laughs> I'm not using that, but I'm keeping it just in case. Uh... <laughs> with lots of character. I love the little numbers that have been painted on these, and they were well worth the effort of carrying them all the way up to the top of the mill. That was a workout, I can tell you. On these will go electronic tabletop games, handhelds, game and watch devices, a whole library of them. I mean, we're watching this man's life, <laughs> lifetime work as he's uh, he's making himself <laughs> an entire museum display, but I just laugh at solid wood. <sighs> so someone will be able to help you to use the right power adapter or batteries to get them up and running, and then you can take them off. To that was a workout, I can tell you. Yeah, actually. Handhelds, game and watch devices, a whole library. It's time to work on a whole new corner. Let's bring this over here. It's time to work on a whole new corner of the cave now, and I'm kitting it out with these beautiful pigeonholes. They're lovely solid wood with lovely solid. Let's save. Lovely solid wood. That lovely. Okay. That lovely solid wood with with lots of character. I love the little numbers that have been painted on these and they were well worth the effort of carrying them all the way up to the top of the mill. That was a workout, I can tell you. Oh, even the, even the way he says it. Um, Solid wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. Anyway. We might not, um, we might not end up, you know, it might not be used any of it. On these will go electronic tabletop games, handheld. None of it might, might be usable, sorry. But it's just, uh, you never know until you try it with these, uh, these things. Like I've done, I've done three that just didn't work um, with different people. And, uh, and it's because, because the, even the one I did with Norm, I was borderline not releasing it because I just, I wasn't entirely happy with it to be fair. Uh, but he said he, he liked it and he thought it was cool, um, or he laughed. So I ended up releasing it. Um, 
crap. I'm, I'm in awe of how perfectly timed all of this is. On these will go electronic tabletop games, handhelds, game and watch devices, a whole library of them if you like. And you will be supervised so someone will be able to help you to use the right power adapter or batteries to get them up and you will be supervised and you will be and you will be super you will be supervised i mean you will be supervised you will be supervised so, so someone will be able to help you to use the right power adapter or batteries to get them up and running and so someone will be able to help you to use the right power adapter or batteries to get them up and running and then you can take them off to a table and try them out and yes these cases will need to be firmly secured to the walls and to each other to avoid and yes these cases will need to be firm be firm will need to be will need to be firmly secured to the walls and to each other the walls and to Firmly secured to the firmly secured to the, be firmly secured to each other to I mean yeah yeah will need to be firm will need to be will need cases will need to mm. will need to be firmly secured to each other to to avoid avoid any accidents with them falling over i will do that before opening up i think that's looking pretty good let's get some games on them these aren't all of them we have more boxes to come but i thought i'd put them out just to give us an impression of how it's all going to look and lots of them are in their original boxes which is a really nice touch it gives the whole thing and a real nice feeling of stepping back in time if you like the white wall behind these shelves is the perfect opportunity to bounce some light around behind them so i've opted for these self-adhesive LED strips a lot of you will be very familiar with these already and I've lined the backs of the shelves with them to get a nice look I think this has turned out great it's the real look that I was going for the kind of old-school shop that nostalgia hit when you look at all the old boxes as I said there's a lot more tabletop games to come I think no I think of course the Nintendo game and watch ones will be really popular and I think uh, Mark's these all belong to Mark, by the way, who was doing the um, cable trays earlier. Oh, you tore your left calf muscle. Um, sorry, Leo. Sorry to hear. Well, I think you told me that in message, but I thought because you had uh, something. Was it your foot? I thought I thought that's what it was. You had something with your foot uh, a while back, and it was last year. He's got a lot more Game & Watches to come, so I think they'll be popular, as will all of them, um, so long as we make sure people get the right power supplies and the right batteries to easily enjoy them. Of course, you want to see the lighting, which I've got on a smart plug, so I should be able to turn it on from my phone. There we go, set to blue at the moment, but I can set it to any number of colours. I just liked the blue the best and um yeah i think it's a good look i'm pretty happy with that now it does look really good actually amazing work is done in that space now there are more considerations to think about it's right by the exit so of course security is something some of you have raised in previous episodes how are we going to make sure things that are just loose on shelves aren't going to get nicked it's right by the exit so of course security is something some of you Security is something some of you have raised. In previous episodes, how are we going to make sure things that are just loose on shelves aren't going to get nicked? Well, it's something that we need to consider. I think it's going to involve scanners and RFID tags and all of that business further down the line. But it's certainly a consideration for this area where it's right next to the exit and very easy to just pick something like that up. So it is on the radar don't worry in terms of the look i just want to bring the camera around here and show you this i'm standing at the entrance to the cave here so you get the reception desk you get the arcade you get the exhibition space you get the handhelds but as you look down the room 
What I really like about this is you get the edge of the handheld shelves which come into the room. Behind that you'll have the reading area and that lovely orange and blue wall. Behind that you have the lights of the studio so it gives you a sense that not only is it one great big room there's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore so it gives you that element room there's also lots of also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore so it gives you that element also lots of room there's also there's also yeah i i i i'm i'm getting around the idea that he's uh he's doing a, a tour of uh <laughs> sort of an, uh, an orgy house or something like that <laughs> there's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore so and uh That poor man cave is never going to be the same after this. So it gives you that element of exploration rather than seeing everything all at once. Gives you that element of exploration rather than seeing everything all at once. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I'll work. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I'll work further on creating more spaces like that. Of course, the ultimate space would be the secret arcade if we ever hit that goal of 2,000 patrons in order to afford that. But that's way down the line. But having put these shelves up now is really... 2,000 patrons. ...is really starting to come together for me. The ideas that I had in my head, I'm really starting to see them come to fruition now. That's really satisfying. And we'll continue to work on that. Not that it, it's not deserved, it's just, it's, it's a lot, it's bonkers, it's amazing. I'm really starting to see them come to fruition now, that's really satisfying, and we'll continue, really satisfying, and really satisfying, and Lines like that are handy just as, uh, as fillers. Um. Uh, especially with the reading area. I'm so happy with these shelves that I'm going to get in touch with the guy who provided them, Mark. Uh, there's a link in the video description, by the way. He's based in Brighton on the south coast of the UK. If you happen to be in the market for these, I highly recommend him. And I'm going to get him to make some up which are the right size, because he does bespoke furniture as well, for our magazines. So we'll have another L shape back there for the reading area. Also to go in the reading area is the very special parcel which arrived, which you saw at the start of this episode. I've been waiting weeks to open this. I've been saving it for you on this video. And now, finally, I've been waiting weeks to open this. I've been on this. I've been saving I've been saving I've been saving it. I've been saving it for you on this video. I've been saving it for you on this video. I've been saving it. <laughs> Neil, if you see this early, forgive me. <laughs> I've been saving it for you on this video. Oh dear. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So let's go and do that now. I could even use that. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So let's go and do that now. So what do you think it is then? I think some of you can perhaps guess even before I've unwrapped it. And it comes courtesy of bitcade.co.uk who contacted me out of the blue and said, do you want one of these for the cave? And I said, what's the catch? And they said, there isn't one. We just want to help you build the space. Well, okay then, I wasn't going to say no to that, was I? It is, of course, a cocktail arcade cabinet with support for two players, one at either end. They even offered to make me a custom RMC top for it. And uh, I thought, you know what? We could do that, but let's keep it nice and simple. We'll just go with a basic wood grain style on top, onto which I can put RMC branded coasters or whatever else. And I think that would be more than enough for the space here. On the inside, it has a jammer harness, so I could connect original arcade boards to it if I wanted boards with lots and lots of games on them. And it includes proper old school classics like Ms. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, it really is a lovely thing, a perfect addition. Wood grain, Clint approved, yeah. It really is a lovely thing, a perfect addition to the reading area, whether you're using it as a table, whether you're actually playing games on it, whatever, it, it, it's perfect to go in there. And I really appreciate the kindness shown by Bitcade. 
and uh, of course would encourage you to take a look at their range bitcade.co.uk they do upright cabinets as well as cocktails like this and a lot more besides so- it's good advertisement for um for them like people passing through it and and they can see uh they probably should have branded oh they have the sticker don't they yeah well it's been a hell of a week really productive hot well it's been a hell of a week it's been a hell of a week yeah i mean well it's been a hell of a week gotta keep that well it's been a hell of a week i mean it's, it's exactly well it's been a hell of a week really productive hard work save that really productive hard work but i'm really happy with uh, how it's come out but i'm really happy with uh, how it's come out we got that reception area done really love that it could do with a bit of lighting i don't really want to line the inside with led lights you can go a bit overboard with the with the leds it can get a bit tacky particularly if you can see the individual dots of the leds i don't like that i like the light to kind of dissipate and spread and look nice so i think i'd rather have a couple of spotlights above the reception area looking down but i think ambience spotlights rugs things like that that can come right at the end we'll, we'll take stock of the room as a whole and decide where everything needs to be the tabletop gaming area really happy with that and we're going to mimic that in the reading area because i'm so happy with those pigeonholes that we're going to get um fix that lovely yeah and and um what i'll do after that probably not here but right now we're just going to find key elements you don't want to start looking too much in detail so i'm just spotting key elements we're gonna i think the next step for me to will be to just uh i don't know find a piece of music I, in all the stuff i've done made maybe that i can reuse or oh, that's going to be tricky actually because i'm uh, all my uh, plugins are in different location. They might not recognize it. Come on, just uh, copy and paste. And then I'll do another pass where I can just grab fillers. Um, so yeah, words like that. I'd like to get a few retro a few times. Um, and uh, yeah. That we're going to get some made up by the same guy, Mark. And again, details in the description if you want. Yeah, stuff like that would be too crass even for the video, really. It's just uh, you, you kind of want to avoid, uh, says, says I, after all we've got. But uh, yeah, there's a. Uh, you just want to stay on the. That we're going to get some made up by the same guy, Mark. And again, details in the description if you want to uh, purchase some of those. He's based in Brighton, but he will deliver far and wide. I mean, stuff like that is tempting, but it's just, uh, it's, it's too much. Just you know? some of those. He's based in Brighton, you know. but he will deliver far and wide. It's very tempting to use, <laughs> but, but I, I just, you know, you can't. It's just, it's, it's too much. But he will deliver far and wide it's too uh, much if, if you want anything like that. Um, so we'll get some. When you, if you want anything like. Uh, if you want anything. Uh, if you want anything like that is good if you want anything like that doesn't stop me from checking if you want no. anything like that i like the uh, if you want anything like that when as he looks away it's brilliant if you want anything like that <laughs> that could go after the retro sandwich uh have the word retro repeated a few times into some sort of chorus retro sandwich retro sandwich if you want anything like that um, so we'll get some cases made up that will fit magazines from him. We'll mimic that in the reading area. Of course, the cocktail cabinet will go in the reading area. Lots of comfy chairs, more spaces for the meat, as I called you earlier. I must... For the meat. Uh, that's way too tempting. More spaces for the meat. And it's perfectly timed. Look at that. Slut. More spaces for the meat. I mean, you could put that on there. More spaces for the meat. <laughs> As I called you earlier, I must think of a better name. Um, the cave dwellers, of course, the cave dwellers. More room for you to come and sit and relax because it's not all about sitting here constantly playing games. It's about just taking in the ambience and being together and chatting with one another. Um, it, it's not a solitary activity coming to the cave. It's a very much a social one. 
Of course we need stools around here. No. At the moment, having tried a few things and thought of a few things, I'm thinking wooden science lab style stools uh, because they'll tuck under there nicely. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Well, there's kind of a point. Um, listening to this with the mind in the gusher mix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Having tried a few things and thought of a few things, I'm thinking wooden science lab style stools uh, because they'll tuck under there nicely. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Well, there's kind of a point to that because we want people to enjoy and play them, but not hog them. So if you're a little bit uncomfortable, I know it sounds a bit mean, but it might encourage you to shift onto the next machine and let other people play on them. Oh, you method even to the madness. Meal. Um, so lots to think about, lots to do. Now, you'll remember I had the lights in the tabletop gaming area on a smart plug. I've gone a bit smart plug happy. So much so that absolutely everything in the cave is now on a smart plug. And I've got a little button on my phone. It's just called Cave On. And when I press it, there we go, everything turns on. The festoon lights above me turn on. The RGB lighting at the studio and in the tabletop library turn on. The music starts playing automatically. All of the machines on the workbench come on. The only other thing I have to do is press the button on the remote control to go to the SCAR input on these Sony monitors for yes, TV. Yes, I was doing something else there, but the... Um... Music starts playing automatically. All of the machines on the workbench come on. The only other thing I have... The festoon lights above me turn on. The RGB lighting at the studio and in the tabletop library turn on. And I've got a little button on my phone. It's just called Cave On. And when I press it, there we go, everything turns on. The festoon lights above me turn on. The RGB lighting at the studio and in the tabletop library turn on. The music starts playing automatically. All of the machines on the workbench come on. The only other thing I have to do is press the button on the remote control to go to the SCART input on these Sony monitors or TVs. There we go. They're all on. There we go. At the press of a single button, the cave comes alive and uh, we're ready to go. And that will follow through to the other workbench. That will all be on smart plugs, the arcade, everything. I'm addicted to smart plugs, what can I say? And I've also, of course, got a cave off button. There we go, that's enough of that nonsense. Smart plugs, what can I say? I'm addicted to smart plugs, what can I say? And I've also, of course, got a cave off button. There we go, that's enough of that nonsense. <laughs> I like that, there we go. Of that nonsense. There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. I can't. There we go. There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together beautifully. Uh... Okay. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together beautifully. I think I used exactly, uh, it all came together at the end in the uh, MSX video. And uh, I can't leave you today without saying a huge thank you to you for making this possible and especially to the official cave dwellers. It's all thanks to Sorry, the patrons at patreon.com forward slash RMC retro that we can afford to do. Sorry, let me fix this actually. Uh... I didn't set trigger very. Can you try the uh, command again? Uh... There you go. That worked. And uh, I can't leave you today without saying a huge thank you to you for making this possible and especially to the official cave dwellers. It's all thanks to the patrons at patreon.com forward slash RMC retro that we can afford to do this, that we can afford the time and the money to put all this together. And we've got a huge push now. If we're gonna make this happen in September, providing um, we've opened up, because here in the UK, we're still technically locked down, but hopefully by September, we'll be able to have visitors, whether that will be in restricted numbers or full numbers, we don't know yet, but we really wanna open the doors then. And that means we've got to push hard because September is looming, it's gonna come. That means we've got to push hard because September is looming. It's going to come around really, really quickly. Come around really, really quickly. And we're only going to achieve it with your support. So if you want to chip in and help, I 
really appreciate it, head over to patreon.com forward slash RMT Retro to, uh, to donate to help. It would be amazing, every penny thrown into this place, as I hope you can see, to make it happen. Thrown into is really being thrown into this place, as I hope you can see, to make it happen. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, so first pass, what have we got? And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. <laughs> and it still gives me a huge... <laughs> <laughs> Just a sheer randomness. <laughs> of, uh, okay. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. See you, Leo. And it still gone. gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. It's got a lightly smoked finish. I'm happy with the overall finish to this. Oh, I thought you were leaving a... a Leo, sorry. Um... I'm happy with the overall finish to this. You get the same feeling when you see it. You get the same feeling when you see it. And it still gives me a huge... It's got a lightly smoked finish. <laughs> I'm happy with the overall finish to this. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place. It's always going to look nasty. <laughs> well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. And I think that's pretty inviting. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. <laughs> uh, sit on. To sit on. See, the problem with these is there's music in the background. We'll have to... Um... I'm not going to worry about it yet, but... Uh, uh, or at least it will be when you've got... I think ozone, uh, no, isotope has something to remove uh, that kind of stuff. In no particular order at the moment, I just grabbed what I could. In no particular order at the moment, I just... I just grabbed what I could. I just grabbed what I could. Very nice. Yeah, like that very nice is a, ni is a, is a very nice fitter. Uh, for instance, it's been such a hot. It's been such a hot week. I just grabbed what I could. Very nice. It's been such a hot week. If we're gonna have thirty bodies in here, or if we're gonna have thirty bodies in here or so, this just isn't gonna work really, or or an adult for that matter. <laughs> to put a solid pole down there and. It's going to look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That there's less room for the for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Hands on machines. So the next job is really to find a. a, a... Yes, it was a nice idea while. It... What have I done here? Yes, it was a. Oh. Nice idea. It was a nice idea. Yes, it was a nice idea while it lasted. Oh, there was our, our splicing. Um, I think it's the wrong idea for this space. A lovely solid wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. You will be supervised. We'll need to be firmly secure to each other. Security is something some of you have raised. There's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Really satisfying. I've been saving it for you on this video. So I think we, we might need to start with those. Uh, him just being all kind of... This is the retro place. There's more to it than what you think and all that kind of stuff. And then use those uh, segments. A lovely... Because the voice quality changes. Because he's obviously in voiceover with a mic um with some sound uh, different you know different sound characteristics so use that like for verses or chorus and and use those and now finally we get to either for the verse or chorus depending on which one you use we use the other one but just separate them in the way the the thing is laid out a lovely solid wood that was a workout i can tell you you will be supervised to each other there's also lots of smaller areas Security, I think it's the wrong idea for this space. So. There's more than meat.
There's also lots of small security is something so firmly secure to each other. Okay, so these are those ones we're gonna mark them in a lovely color. Secure and I'll do the same. There's plenty of special delivery to unwrap these. this place. It's all it's been such a hot week. Very nice. Okay, and these as well. Uh different color just in case. If we're gonna have thirty body it's gonna look like an I think it's actually I'll mark it as red because uh, of his apron. It's all of it. It's red Neil. Um Okay, and security back to Red Neil. And now finally we get to open. Well, it's been a hell of really productive. More spaces for the. And I know some of you will say, well, there we go. That's enough of. It's all. Okay, and Red. Okay. Okay, and Red. Okay. Uh, what am we are you using to edit? Yeah, it's Ableton. Uh, it's Ableton. It it still gives me a huge beep. Yeah, I, I was thinking something like that. Um. <laughs> um, I'm, I... Have I way to import another... Another project... from here so let's just say I do this ideas what have I got I mean quite the vibe you want for it it's uh um i think i might save that for something else but i want to see can i import this here yes i i can uh, let me just remove these i've saved them in separate um but we're gonna have to do some tidying Fantastic. Oh, yes, I remember these VSTs. I didn't in, in, in uh... Okay. Oh, God. Ample base. Actually, Ample base we can download quickly as a free VST. Uh, Ample base light. Uh, by now, we're not free. No. God, do I have a user? Uh let me see if I have, I think I have a user for ample, uh, ample sound. Probably not, but I'm pretty sure, um, Free software, yeah. Where 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 is the uh, download link overview? Uh, gallery, demo songs, video. APBL. There you go. 
the guitar is all right as well, actually, and I think we'll uh, we'll use both. Um, download. No, no. Do I need absolutely need to register? I made the mistake of not saving a lot of these uh, VSTs either because, well, I I I am um, I have the da the download codes and serial numbers for the ones I I paid for, but all the free ones, I was like ah, I'll just re-download them when I need them, and yeah, this is what happens. Um, Please don't make me register to your site. Um, oh, I've used this as well, I remember. And something. Uh, download, download, download link. D add to my download. You have to log on first. Where do I log on? Let's just create something. Plugin Boutique, I think I actually did... Uh, Log into that. Um, how about creating your <laughs> my own libraries? It's easy in time, in due time. In due time. Uh, for reverb, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll have a look. I'll, uh, thank you very much. Um, I have tons of... I got some... Uh, uh, Baby Audio sent me... Uh, it was last week, my, my, my PC uh, crash. Um, and... Uh, and uh, uh, Baby Audio sent me, essentially asked me if I wanted to partner with them first. And uh, they wanted to sponsor the channel, so they sent me their uh, their plugins. And I started using them actually on the, this afternoon on the t two pieces of audio that I shared in Discord. And I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed. They're actually pretty good. And there's a cool reverb in there as well. And, and a cool delay. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for <laughs> Gmail. And the email that hasn't arrived. Okay. Is it here that I, I needed to? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me. Or could I use a different? It's a cool base, though. It, I, I need to download that again. Um, Okay, let's 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 try that. Um come on. Uh, no, 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 doesn't matter. Let me find somewhere else. Let's sign up here, doesn't matter.
I'm pretty sure I did uh, I did register. I, I don't have time to um plugin boutique is, is pretty good anyway. Um let's go back and log in. I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. Okay. And I want this one as well. <laughs> that's, the <laughs> uh, that's the Mac version. They send me a Mac package. Um, oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so that's those two, and uh, uh, what, what else? While it downloads, uh, there's this guy. Oh, yeah, with those drums, ample bass. Uh, we're gonna use the cello pad. So, here we had. Just the piano sad, I think I just had some basic pads. What have I got in my synths I could use in lieu? Uh, KS1. Close enough. That was actually a pretty... That's that's actually such a lame uh, keyboard. Um, instruments. Piano. <laughs> Vampire, thank you very much. Uh, it's the last play. Yeah. But I did that just to have that sort of resonance, so I just wanted the piano sound to be a... Actually, I like I like none of this. sense in a second uh, where is our base at and our guitar it's gonna sound all out of tune in a minute um this was another little uh, uh steinberg no we just wanted in VST plugin. Uh, it's the 32 bits, uh, but Ableton doesn't really do 32 bits uh, plugins anyway, but just in case I use something else at some point. Uh, ample sound. Okay. And we'll do the same for the bass. <laughs> yeah, cool. Finish. Uh, let's just see. Plug in. 
plugins. If we scan, uh, we should uh, hopefully. No. Uh, plug in alliance, and that's not it. <sighs> okay, that's the problem. I installing stuff like that might need to. Um, Thirty-two bits should go here. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I know. I know why. I know why because it's in a. This is fun. This is fun. after a whole day of uh, uh, holding my bucket type of dependency, which involves you or binding your PC. So you could have been, you've uh, working on Wi Fi on your Amiga. <laughs> that is totally not worth it. <laughs> uh, uh, let's let's accept the agreement. Uh, VST plugin, VST plugin saved. Uh, Ample sound, that should be okay. Don't scrape. No, we don't. Uh, you're going to tell me that the uh, redist uh, stuff and you are. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? If you're, uh, when you're ready to continue. Okay, we should have it. Um, might need to restart Ableton. That's the only thing. But let's do a quick rescan. Of um, I doubt I doubt it's here. Yeah, no, that's not it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that BIOS battery you were looking for was in your trousers. Love it. Um, okay, let's try something else. Um, I have anything in contact library instead. Uh, da, da, da. It's a bit over the top for stuff like that, but... Where's it going? Uh, native instrument, there you go. Um, <clears throat> That's all I got. Uh, no, surely you have more than that. Uh, let me just open something. The latest version of Contact is really weird because it, it doesn't, it's even less easy to have libraries show up in here. Um, uh, some third party libraries were uh, 
that's a good piano actually um were great because you could use them they would actually be designed so they would show up here but now they only allow their own libraries in there so you have to create your own uh, uh, separate list here and i'm looking for a couple of a uh, couple of libraries this is these are cool piano um libraries but i think we're okay for those is there a base i think there was a base here uh Spitfire, Spitfire, Shreddage, uh, wasn't that a base? I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Uh, what was used here? Shreddage tree. Uh, okay. I think that was it, yeah. And with this guy as well. Let's, let's see which is which. Yeah, okay. It's not actually loading the libraries. Uh, it's the okay, that's working. So Get the job done, so okay, let's just copy that and go. Okay, and uh, let's get some. Oh, no, that wasn't the bass, that was the bass. So this here should be the base. Same thing again, uh, shredded tree. wanted some uh, sort of vintage synth we're going to use contact again and analog dreams no no keyboard than that where are your keyboard um. 
yeah that's not happening let's go back uh, I have a lot of fixing still to do I don't like that sound anyway uh, uh, we need uh, some drums uh, let's get a, a instead of this sound I'd use something else but no, let's uh, get our drum racks. Uh, maybe a 505 will suffice. 77. And just fix uh, this. So I've done this little uh, um, loop, very quick loop, um, I don't know, four years ago. And it's one of those things that you put together and then you forget for ages. But I, this actually might work well because it's slightly cheesy and very retro itself. Um, and it might actually work in this case. Um, is that all we wanted? <laughs> It's not exactly. And fall back on this one. Uh, 
shift everything essentially to here. All right, come on. And Actually, that could be. Oh. So much longer here, okay. The end doesn't matter because we can tidy that afterwards. This is just going to be annoying for a minute, but um. I'll do that separately. So what we want is just to start lining stuff here. Let's just uh, loop all of that. And then we'll find uh, maybe a chorus. Uh, is that loopable? There you go. Um, why are you being funny like that, you uh, clip? That's a new layout. Let me move this uh, out of the way. Um... That makes sense. Um, I'm actually, what, 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 what are you doing to me here? What are you doing to me here? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So why can't I, I... Where's my warp area and looping and all this kind of stuff? I mean, I know I can loop you here, but... Okay, you're good. You're good. So we, we, we're cool on that ground, but... Yeah, we can solve all that. I run that things like that afterwards let's just uh focus on uh, audio let's just find something we're happy with uh think of uh, just a there's also lots of small a lovely solid wood that was a workout security is something some of you have raised if we're gonna have 30 bodies in here it's been such a hot week if we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so this just isn't gonna work really or, or an adult for that matter to put a solid pole down there and 
it's going to look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That there's less room for the for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Hands on machines. I'll just find something with this. There's uh, also lots of smaller areas. Security is something some of you have raised. There's also lots of smaller areas indoors. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Really satisfying. I've been saving it for you on this video. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So, well, it's been a hell of a week. Really productive, hard work, if you want anything like that. More spaces for the meat. And I know... There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together beautifully. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. But there's less room for the, for the meat. But there's less room. But there's less. But there's less. But there's less. But there's less room for the, for the meat. But there's less room. Less room for the, for the meat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then there's less room. Well, then there's less. Well, then there's less room. For the meat in the retro sandwich. For the meat. For the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. For the meat in the. So here we should move. For the meat in the. For the meat. For the meat. Meat in the retro sandwich. More spaces for the meat. And then there's less room for the for the meat. And we've got a very special delivery. It's been such a hot week. If we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. If we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. You can see his voice just uh, comes like perfectly on time. It's actually just, it, I couldn't actually map it any better if I stretched it and, and tried to, I don't need any splicing here. It's quite amazing. If we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. If we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. For the meat, we're gonna have 30. And then there's less room for the for the meat. We're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. The meat in the retro sandwich. The meat in the retro sandwich. Well, it just depends where you want those uh, those lines to fall on. The meat in. The oh, yeah. <laughs> the meat in. I mean here, right bang on. The meat in the retro sandwich. More space. There's less room for the for the meat. We have 30 bodies in here. For the meat, we have 30. For the meat, we have 30 bodies in here or so. The meat in the retro sandwich. Or so. The meat in the retro sandwich. The meat in the retro sandwich. So, the meat in the retro here or so. The meat in the retro sandwich. Uh, the stuff actually works perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it's. And then there's less room for the for the meat. We can have 30 bodies in here. Now what we can do after once we've mapped everything, we can try and just detune stuff slightly so there's kind of a melody going or get a little uh, not a vocoder but um, get melodyne to sort of tune his voice a little bit and then there's less room so and then there's less room for the for the meat we can have 30 bodies in here or so <laughs> the meat in the retro sandwich the meat in the so we need to space that a little bit better um, let's just see i just want to and then there's less room for the... So this is the looping area here. I'm just going to make that a different color uh, just for reference. And see if we can space that. 
over two two bars. It's been such a hot week. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so, this just isn't going to work really. Or, or an adult for that matter. To put a solid pole down there, and that's going to look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That there's less room for the meat in the retro hands on machines. Yes, it was a nice idea while it lasted. I think it's the wrong idea for the. It was a nice idea while it lasted. <laughs> I think it's the wrong idea. <laughs> Security is something some of you have raised. There's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore. I like the security uh, is uh, something of some of you are right. Less room for the for the meat. We're gonna have less room for the for the meat. I think we have the security aspect here and um For the meat security is something some of you have raised. For the meat in the retro sandwich. It's been such a hot week. If we're gonna have Meat security is something some of you have raised. <laughs> the meat in the retro sandwich has been such a hot week. More... Mm. Sandwich has been such a hot week. More spaces for the meat. Less room for the for the meat. Security is something some of you have raised. I think for the meat, the meat in the retro sandwich, that's actually... And there's less room for the for the meat. So here, the meat in the retro sandwich. The meat, for the meat, for the meat, for the meat. The meat in the retro sandwich. For the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Yeah, I think that's, uh, and let's just splice this slightly uh, forward. Like so, and for the meat in the retro sandwich. Meat in the retro sandwich. Less room. There's less room for the for the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. Security is something some of you. More spaces for the meat. Security is something. So we're gonna have thirty bodies in here. Or and there's less room. Actually, you could start with that. Uh, we're going to have 30 bodies in there and there's less room. There's le <laughs> we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so. And there's less room. Or so. Well, there's less room. Or so. Well, there's less room for the, for the meat. We're going to have 30 bodies in here or so. Well, Maybe not. Let's just uh, find something else. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. And it still gives me a huge... <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. Sorry, uh, you don't have... It, it's it's a lot better with the video. I'm, I forgot to bring the video back here. Um you get the same feeling when you see it no 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 don't do this to me don't do this to me ableton okay you didn't it's got a lightly smoke let's save i'm happy with the overall finish to this it doesn't matter how nice i try well i'm pretty happy with how these are looking and i think that's pretty inviting or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. I just grabbed what I could. Very nice. It's been such a hot week. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so, this just isn't going to work, really. Less room for the, for the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't going to work, really. Retro sandwich. This just... This just isn't gonna work, really. Yeah, it works. That works here. We, we thought this. So we can just uh, stretch some image. See, the trick is actually just get some. We, this just isn't gonna work, really. 
work really. More spaces for the meat. More spaces for the meat. And so it starts with there's not enough. And there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work really. He's he's so perfectly in time, it's amazing. More spaces for the meat. Um more spaces for the so here it's a voiceover we could technically repeat room for the for the meat for the we could technically the meat for the more spaces for the let's repeat uh, this line and copy this down uh the meat for the the, the meat the for the meat is for the for the meat this is for the for the meat this is for the for the meat more spaces for the for the meat for the for the meat <laughs> Let's try this. Uh, me, the meat for the meat, the meat for the meat. The meat for the meat. This is for the for the meat for the meat. <laughs> Meat secure just isn't gonna work really. More spaces for the for the meat for the meat. Security is something some of you have raised. We're gonna have 30 bodies in for the meat. We're gonna have 30 bodies for the meat. For the meat, we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. And that should terminate the line just about right then. Here or so. Security is something some of you have raised. You've raised. Security is something some of you have raised. For the meat, for the meme. <laughs> and there's less room for the for the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. Retro sandwich in the retro. For the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. Actually, we should repeat the meat in the retro sandwich. For the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work, really. More spaces for more spaces for the for the meat for the for the for the meat for the meat. We're gonna have thirty. The meat in the retro sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. We're the meat in the retro sandwich. We're going to have 30 bodies in here or so. Here or so. Security is something some of you have raised. Okay, so I think that should be technically a verse, and then we'll have to use something else for the chorus but less room less room for the less room what did i do
I, I can't even remember what I did. Uh... sandwich this just isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich we're gonna have 30 less room so that is for the for the the for the the for the meat is for the for the meat for the meat for the in the retro sandwich we're gonna have this is for the for the for the meat for the meat for the <laughs> more spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so i think we should finish with the that one yeah retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised retro sandwich security retro sandwich the retro sandwich security sandwich security is something some of you have raised in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised some of you have raised security sandwich security is something some of you have raised yeah i think that's it and there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich this just isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised and there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich so it loops now this just tricky. isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised so stuff like that when you don't see him talking directly it's handy because i can use the sound but the end of the video i can actually overlay a different video when i edit stuff afterwards in the adobe premiere okay dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. And then there's more spaces. Okay. It's been such a hot week. If we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so, <laughs> this just isn't gonna work really. 
or, or an adult for that matter. I like that line too. Or, or an adult for that matter. To put a solid pole down there and it's going to look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That there's less room for the, for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Hands on machines. Yes, it was a nice idea while it lasted. I think it's the wrong idea for this space. That's kind of cool though. Um, I think it's the wrong idea. Sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. I think it's raised. I think it's you have raised. I think it's you have raised. Which security is something some of you have raised. I think it's the wrong idea for this space. I can't think of a, just a uh, the, the Meet for the meat in the retro sound. This. gonna work really more spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised that uh just to do a quick uh I know some of you
to put a solid pole down there and a zelt for them. Down there or in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I like that. Yeah. So, this just, or, or an adult for that matter, to put a solid pole down there. That's actually a good idea. I uh, like it. Um, or, or an adult. To put a solid pole down there. And... Or in a... To put a solid pole down there, and... or, or an adult for that matter. God, and it just it lines up again. Like it, this one stopped right here. This one starts right here, and it just uh, line up perfectly on the. Okay, let's keep that under the hood. Uh... Ah, that's just it's like a breakdown. That's just. That's that's shite. <laughs> Best room. Maybe if I try this, might be more inspired. Oh, it needs uh, just a something uh, different, so I might just... of just uh, transition uh, and then and we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too and I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here there's plenty of variety in the box sizes and it still gives me a huge <laughs> every time you get the same feeling when you see it and it still gives me a huge you get the same feeling when it's got a lightly smoked finish. I mean, if you put these all in that order. It's got a lightly smoked finish. And it still gives me a huge beep. You get the same feeling when you see it. Forgive me, Neil. Forgive me, Neil. It's got a lightly smoked finish. And it still gives me a huge. You get the same feeling when you see it. Yeah. I'm happy with the overall finish to this. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place, it's always going to look nasty. <laughs> it's got a lightly smoked finish. And it still gives me a huge... It's got a lightly smoked finish. And it still gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. And it still gives me a huge how nice I try and make this place it's it doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place it's always going to look nasty <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear it's always going to look nasty and it still gives me a huge you get the same feeling when you see it terrible fire you're gone this is hotting up. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been such a hot week. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so, this just isn't going to work really. 
There's also lots of smaller areas. They're lovely solid wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. You will be supervised. We'll need to be firmly secured to each other. Security is something some of you have... There's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore. I want to look into the intro to where... There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. I like starting with that. There's more than... I'm really satisfying. Really satisfying. I've been saving it for you on this video. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. Well, it's been a hell of a week. Really productive, hard work, if you want anything like that. More spaces for the meat. If you want anything like that, would be great somewhere there too, wouldn't it? Well, it's... Uh, let's just line this up here. Um... Well, it's been a hell of a week. There's more than... There's more than... It's been a hell of a week. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. I mean, and I'll. I mean, well, it's been a hell. And now, finally, we get to open it. And more spaces for the. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. <laughs> There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Really satisfying. If you want anything like that. More spaces for the... There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together, beautiful. I haven't seen more than meets the eye with 32 bodies in the room, but more... <laughs> yeah. There's also lots of small... Well, it's been a hell of a week. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. I'm not sure about this one. Security is something some of you have raised. There's also lot. Yeah, security goes here. Comfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. There's also lots of smaller areas in which... Well, it's been a hell of a week. Okay, uh, is there anything else in those guys? It's been such a hot week. <laughs> there's more than me they'll be uncomfortable security is something some of you have poor guy working so hard in this video well i promised him I, i'd make a sequel to uh, the msx uh, machine <laughs> there's more than meets the eye when you first come in and i know some of you will say well they'll be uncomfortable security is something some of you have raised it's been such a hot week really satisfying <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so this just isn't gonna work or, or an adult for that matter to put a solid pole down there and it's gonna look like an exotic dancers club isn't it that there's that there's less room for the for the meat in the retro sandwich yes, it was a nice idea while it lasted i think it's the wrong idea for, it was a nice idea while that, it was a nice idea while the tug of the uh, um anyway. less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich this just isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised we're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. for, the, for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich Se less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich this just isn't going to work, really. It's always going to look nice. Yeah, which one was it again? If we're going to have 30 bodies in here, this just isn't going to or, or an adult, for that matter, to put a solid pole down there. And yeah, we we, we, uh, we explore that option as well here. To put a solid pole down there, and, or, or an adult, for that matter. <laughs> Sandwich. Security is something. Some of you. So security, we use that over there. We can't use that here. And... Meat in the retro sandwich. To put a solid pole down there, or, or an adult for that matter. Now we need something to close that. Uh... Have 30 bodies in here. Have 30 more spaces. This just isn't going to work, really. More spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat. This just isn't. Gonna... Now let's more spaces for the for the for the meat. For the for the meat. For 
the for the meat for the for the meat for the meat for the meat for the for the meat for the meat for the for the for the meat basis for the for the for the meat for the meat <laughs> For the meat. <laughs> Can we? How much? Oh, yeah, there you go. For the meat. <laughs> For the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. And we've got a very special. No, that what gives that gives me a and to put a salt. We're gonna beep. Have a, a beep. And we've got a very special delivery, and I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. For the meat, for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Would that work here? For the meat in the retro sandwich. And I think that'll be. And I think that'll be. And I think the sandwich. And I sandwich. And I think. Free sandwich. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. Yeah, that kind of works actually. Uh, let's just what we need here. Sandwich. And I think that'll be. It's in the retro sandwich. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. What's here after? You people be who come more and visit. Than enough. Meat in the retro sandwich. Uh You people who come and visit. Actually, we could use that for the intro. Hell of a week. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know... You people who come and visit. <laughs> There's more... You people who come and visit. There's more... Than There's more... Than there's more people who come and visit. Once there's more. Uh, yes, there you go. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. There you go. I think we've a full. Poor Neil. Poor Neil. Oh, it's actually slightly bigger. Um. Let's just line this over. You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. What happens if I swell this here? You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a hot week. Uncomfortable. Se Such a hot week for your brain. You people who come and visit, there's there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable, secure, uncomfortable, comfortable, security, comfortable. Well, they'll be uncomfortable. And I know some of you first come in. And I know. Actually, we don't need this. And I know that some of you uh, can start here. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something. Security. Well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. Be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. Okay. We've got a segment. We won't keep those cards just as an a indication of uh, just an intro. And then make something again of uh, just, just four, four bar long with these. And we've got a very special delivery. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. And we've got a very special tea in the box sizes. It's always going to look nasty. And it still gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I hear it. <laughs> got a lightly smoked finish i'm happy with the overall finish to nice i try and make this place it doesn't matter how nice i try and make this place well i'm pretty happy with how these are looking 
and I think that's pretty inviting. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. I just grabbed what I could. I just grabbed... Less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. We're gonna have 30 bodies in here or so. Meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work really. Need that work, yeah. We're gonna have 30 bodies in here. More or spaces so. for the this just isn't gonna work really. We're gonna have 30. Thirty bodies in here or so. More spaces. No, we need a, we need some space here. More spaces for the for the for the meat for the meat spaces for the for the for the. Meat for the meat for the for the meat for the for the. The for the meat the for the. For the meat, for the meat. For the, for the meat, for the, for the meat, for the, for the, the, for the meat, the, for the meat, for the, for the meat. The, for the meat, for the meat. For the meat, for the meat. <laughs> Uh, the facial expression he did in the other video really did it. Yeah, well, it was a lot closer. But uh, here, I'll, uh, uh, you know, we'll probably zoom in at some point on some of his uh, facial expressions or something like that, because that's a, just a short preview video here. And I'm just, uh, I'm just arranging the video to the audio. Um, meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. Um, to put a solid pole down there, or, or an adult for that matter. <laughs> have 30 bodies in here or so. We're going to have 30 bodies in here or so. 30 bodies. We're going to have 30 bodies in here or so. To put a solid pole down there, or, or an adult for that matter. <laughs> Uh, why is stuff like that making me laugh? Um. And that there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work, really. More spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. So what are these? That lovely solid wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. You will be supervised. We'll need to be firmly secured to each other. So this is when I probably should back and do a second pass and see what type of footage uh, we can use again with that. I'd like to do... You people who come and visit. You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. So you people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, there'll be a... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you, some of you will say, well, there'll be... Some of you will say, well, there'll be uncomfortable... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. You move here and it's a quick save. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. 
Actually, that would work as uh, just on its own. I don't actually. All that meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. You people who come. You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be. You people who. You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a You people. You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a hot week. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is... Twitch is uh, saying that you've... Uh, minus 45 second latency. Interesting. You're seeing... Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. I, uh... Well done. <laughs> um, that's remarkable. And uh, no, well, if we use this here... A hot week. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will. It's um. Work a base and work the uh, just basics like that, and then we'll just you people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, Well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a hot week. You people who come. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be un... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security. You people who come... You people who come and visit... You people who come and visit, there's more than me... You people who come and visit, there's more than me... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you...
good change of chord. And it's just to turn the bass line around itself a little bit. Just do chord, just repeating here on four, but here it actually repeats over on oh. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. <laughs> <laughs> so all that needs to be way lower as well, because uh, we just want to. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a hot week. Is something some of you have raised. Been such a hot. It's been such a hot week. It's been such a hot week. Smaller areas in which you can explore. There's also lots of smaller areas. Well, it's been a hell of a week. Really satisfying. I've been saving it for you on this video, and now finally we get to open it. Some of you have raised, and it's been such a hot week. And now, we and now finally we get to open it. We and now finally we get to open it and have a look. Really productive, hard work, really satisfying. I've been saving it for you on this video, and now finally we get to really productive, hard more spaces for the meat. There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together beautifully. And have a look. It's all coming together beautifully. Here we get to such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. Beautifully. And now finally we get to open it. So that's the length of our pattern here, just uh, to remember. 
you people who come and visit there's more than meets the eye when you first come in some of you will say well they'll be uncomfortable security is something some of you have raised and it's been such a hot week it's all coming together beautifully and now finally we get to open it and have a look actually we can let it in here so that's going to be our intro and uh It should, uh, let's just copy this over to. Do you know what? Uh, let's just do this instead. Because I can actually just and do the same here. But yeah, as you can see, after going to um, Grand Theft Audio is on the, <laughs> they, they, uh, they look simple on paper. Um, they look simple on paper uh, and only there. Uh, da -da -ding. Less room for the, have a look. Less room for the, for the meat. So we get it. More and more aware that there's less room. Uh, that there's less room so here we'll have uh, some change to come out like, like um, another of the i don't know instrument to, comes in or something like that that there's less room for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich that there's less room you people who come and visit there's more than meets the eye when you first come in some of you will say well they'll be uncomfortable security is something some of you have raised and it's been such a hot week it's all coming together beautifully and now finally we get to open it and have a look but there's less room so we probably need another bar here just to build up change the chord and because we end on There's less room. Uh, actually, on that second time round, we can probably just uh, do. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. And it's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a. You people. We get to open it and have a look. But there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. So it doesn't that transition doesn't work, but <laughs> but uh, we we'll make it work. But it's I, I just like the idea of uh, he's introducing his <laughs> just an RG place really together beautifully. And now finally we get to open it and have a look. And here we'd probably need to zoom on just him. Yeah. So uh, let's go and do that now. But the oh, actually, that that works. Now, but there's less room. And have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. But the a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. But there's less room. Uh, we can probably have just an extra. Do do do. Something like that. Less room. Go and do that now. Less room. So we'll just go. So uh, let's go and do that now. Less now. Less room. So uh, let's go and do that now. Less room. Less room. Go and do that now. 
Best room. Best room. So uh, let's go and do that now. Um, not that <laughs> either, but you get the idea. We'll just have an extra. But look, so uh, let's go and do that now. Best room. Yeah, just a, an extra beat as a transition. Um, you love the bass line on the on the slow part. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. Let's... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Security is something some of you have raised. It's been... That's a bit too fast. I think we should uh, to do. Visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. Some of you will say, "Well, there'll be." A I some of you. And I know some of you will say, "Well, they'll be uncomfortable." The eye when you first come in. And I know some. No. And I know some of you will. It's the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, "Well, they'll be uncomfortable." It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, it's the eye when you first come in. Hey, game and sound. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, oh my God. What a time to come in. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, when you first come in. And I'll work. And I'll work. And I'll... I know some... I, I, I like that. Uh... And I'll... We just uh, stop here. I mean, and I uh, like, it. and I know. Yeah, I like here this to come in. I didn't actually just. I didn't quantize this actually because it's. I just. I like it sort of loose, but this is a bit too late. Yeah. And I know some of you will say, "Well, they'll be uncomfortable." It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. Less room. Okay, so we, we work something like that. Uh, that there's less... Uh, that, there's, that there's less... Hmm. One more aware that there's less... There's less room for the, for the meat. For the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work, really. More spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. Uh, so we can do that at the second time around. But I think this here we can use this. Uh, actually, let's copy this twice. Um, Yeah, well, <laughs> you're probably wondering what you landed in. Well, I'm making another one of these uh, uh, um, Grand Theft Audio video. And uh, yeah, this is what the... For the meat in the retro sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. That's rude. So let's just go here and... Uh, let to map this here. Security is something some of you have raised. Less room. No. There's less room. Sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. There's less room for the for the meat. For the meat. So I'm taking uh, stuff from uh, my friend Neil uh, RMC, um, and uh, I, I did the MSX machine. Um, video a while back that was actually the first one of the series I did and uh, I want to do more this year so again I'm starting with him um, it's also oh, yeah it's gonna take several sessions this is a it, this is as long as a cover it, it takes a lot of time because none of these assets really I'm happy with you know so I'll have to rework them and it's gonna be just a, a bit of work to rework them and then they're gonna be way in the background as well and then we need to just retune the audio, maybe stretch it somehow. Maybe, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of work yet to do. This is, what am I saying? There's a ton of work. There's about probably four or five more sessions of, of this. I, I probably won't stream all of them, but um, you get the idea of, uh, of what it takes, actually. 
security or something, some of you have raised. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. Best room for the for the meet for the meet in the retro. Oh yeah, you shared the. Uh... <laughs> You're digging into sampling for the first time. Uh, this is the first one. It's time. I... The... No, you don't. Uh, this is. Oops, the um, audio didn't play. Just let me uh, properties. Where is it? Why audio? Why are you? There you go. When you think of an 80s computer geared towards sex machines, I've got to show you today out of the box. Box. Yamaha. I'll be honest, I've got the musical capabilities of a banana. I promise not to laugh at me. Sex machines. I know that I've got some that work. The others need a really good clean. I made an extra video for this on my second channel, but I do know it works. Sex machines, they're Yamaha. Sex machines, no matter. First thing we need to know about these sex machines, sex, 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 sex machines, sex, 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 sex machines. That's what we need to know. Sex, 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 sex machines, sex, 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 sex machines, sex, 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 sex machines, they're Yamaha. Filthy. However, back to the good stuff. First difference that we see is when we flip it over and I got hold of this. This will anyway. You get the idea, and I, I, I did a few of these. Um, I, I did a few of these. I did one with, uh, well, this was the first one, uh, LGR. Um, no, 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 not you, <laughs> not you. I did one with LGR and one with uh, uh, Norm, <laughs> actually, <laughs> for Norm <laughs> and Jan, B and Jan Bitta. Um, you know, it's not. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, the one with the uh, LGR was the the one I was the happiest with, really proud of. But it's it's, and uh, it's probably the cleanest, to be honest. How does it taste? I'm just talking to the greetings and greetings and greetings and greetings and welcome. This is something that you get when you choose the future. Greetings and greetings and greetings and welcome to LGR. It is what it is. I'm just happy that it exists. I'm just happy that it exists. I'm glad it exists. How does it taste? I'm just happy that it exists. Anyway, so yeah, there's quite a bit of work yet uh, uh, left on the on the one we're working on, but it's that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, Clint was super happy about it. Actually, yeah, I sent it to him as well. He didn't reply initially, but then commented on the uh, on the section and. We chatted a bit um, after that. You people who come, but um, for Neil, I mean the the synthwave stuff seemed sort of uh, appropriate. But for Neil, you really want that uh, sort of clean, smooth type of sound, really. Um, you people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, "Well, they'll be uncomfortable." It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. Best room for the for the meat. For the meat. Uh, yeah, oh, my video's uh, not processing anymore. It might be... Uh... Um, well, I'll see. I'll have, to, I'll have to make the music and the voice blend a little bit. And I think it's probably time to start playing with the... Uh, pitch shifting on the, on the voice here in this case. Um, what am I looking for? A MIDI video window. You people. Oh, it's not working anymore. Um, Best room. There needs to be a color spotlight in the dance club uh, added to the video. Yeah, I think we're going to do the same stuff that I do in the um, in the in the stream. Have uh, have those spotlights going to come in and maybe uh, the confetti stuff, you know, like this, the same stuff you do in the in the stream during the the party times. Um, you people who come and visit, probably color filter and that kind of stuff. But that's way down the line. Uh, it's just you know it'll be a 
it'd be just stuff to enhance. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. So I need to find something for that transition. I do like the... Uh, I do like that sort of tone. Let's see if we can find something else with those here. Um, There's more than two. Not you. And uh, you can actually go here. Uh, and You be green, because we're happy with you. And you be not green. Uh, color, come on, color. There you go. And every time you guys talk, there are more things to be done. Yeah. Um, have you you've seen the one with LGR? There was so much footage, and then I added some like a, a ton of just overlay text and little kind of transition. And kind of, so the, the video editing was. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. And I think that'll be more than enough for what we need here. So it's always going to look nasty and it still gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. <laughs> Every time. And I think here it's good because we got that space. It's got a lightly smoked finish. I'm happy with the overall finish. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place always going to look nasty and it still gives me a huge so we're probably going to have a scratch vinyl type of sound uh, huge um it doesn't matter how nice i try and make this place well i'm pretty happy it's as childish as uh, as we can make it and i think that's pretty inviting it's always going to look nasty and it still gives me a huge and i think that's pretty inviting there you go. Nasty. I think that's pretty inviting. And then we go for the... Uh... It's always going to look nasty. And I think that's pretty inviting. And it still gives me a huge... You get the same... And I think that... And I think that's pretty inviting. And it still... Okay. It's always going to look nasty. And I How old am I? <laughs> and it still gives me a huge... You get the same feeling when you see it. It's got a lightly smoked finish. Okay, so I, th I do like that section here. With the overall finish to this. It doesn't matter how... It's always going to look nasty. It doesn't matter how nice I... Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. I just grabbed what I could. Very nice. A lovely solid wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. You will be supervised. Wood. That was a workout, I can tell you. You will be supervised. And we've got a very special delivery to unwrap too. And I think that will be more than enough for what we need here. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. So I don't think I can use these guys. It's been but... such a hot week. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so, this just isn't going to work really, or, or an adult for that matter. To put a solid pole down there, it's going to look like an exotic dancer's. There's less room for the, for the, for the meat in the retro sandwich. Hands on. <laughs> it was a nice idea while it lasted idea for this space. That retro sandwich line was just begging for something like that. We're going to have 30 bodies in here or so to put a solid pole down there, or, or an adult for that matter. <laughs> If trailing cables are hanging down behind desk, it's always going to look nasty. And I and it still gives me a huge. You get the same feeling when you. See. It's got a lightly smoked finish. I'm happy with the overall finish to this. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I had those. Uh... 
It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place, it's always going to look nasty. And I think that's pretty inviting. And it still gives me a huge, you get the same feeling when you see it. Huge. So the music stops here, scratch. You get the same feeling when you see it. And we go back into you people. Less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't gonna work really. More spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich. Security is something some of you have raised. There's less room for the I don't know why I don't know why the video is not playing anymore. Let me yeah, just see if I can just reload Ableton for a second. Um yeah, it would be great to there's a context, but yeah, there's there's a context there everywhere. But just uh, the thing is to take it out way out of context. Hey, <laughs> Ivan, how are you doing? Uh, we're uh, we're distorting uh, LGR's uh, videos here. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place. And we're trying to... You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. So I probably need to cut the music, the sound here, do a transition in those two uh, bars and... Less room for the, for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. This isn't going to work, really. More spaces for the for the meat. What's going on here? Beautifully. And now, you people. Have I lost my base? You people who come and visit. There's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. Yeah, I've lost the base. That's really odd. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Less room. You people who come and visit. There's more than... You people who come and... Hello, bass. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's That's the weirdest thing more than meets the eye when you first come in and I know some of you will say well they'll be uncomfortable it's been such a hot week it's all coming together beautifully so and now finally we're going to open it and have we're reviving uh, Grand Theft Audio uh, which is something I used to do on the channel well last year and uh, so I want to do one more again with the uh, needs room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich this just isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich security is something some of you have raised there's less room for the for the meat for the meat in the retro sandwich this just isn't gonna work really more spaces for the for the meat for the meat for the meat in the retro so we do that and then we're gonna revert back to here I'm trying to find something that fits we might need to go through the uh, video again but it doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place, it's always going to look nasty. And I think that's pretty inviting. And it still gives me a huge look. You get the same feeling when you see it. So we do. You get the same feeling when you see it. Probably needs to be a... Didn't hear. Huge. You get the same feeling when you see it. Dun, 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 dun. That kind of stuff. Uh, so, we just need stuff for, for here. And I don't think we have anything of a... Substance over there, so let's uh, let's do another round. Let's do another round of just uh, digging for content, and then we'll uh, It's a long video, but I, I might be able to find what I, I need there. It's DIY day in the cave again, and there's a lot to do, but can we just take a moment? It's too much uh, parasitic sound. 
today. Something to create a really good first impression when you first walk into the cave today. Is that all that music in the background? <laughs> you really like the title. <laughs> uh, I can show you, we can... Uh, uh, we watched it earlier, but uh, I actually just uh, don't know. It's, you get the idea anyway. Um, and the music for now is just placeholders. We're just f trying to find colors and just ideas and stuff like that. And then after that, we'll... Uh, we'll... Uh, we'll refine everything. Um, Here. Enough for what we need here. Okay, something like that. Some that kind of gap here. Uh, just as a transition into back into. Actually, that probably should stay as an intro and we need to find something similar, but not quite that, with a bit more orchestration there. But again, placeholder and what have we? The last update, you'd have seen that we'd started building a reception slash bar area. And I'm keen to finish that up today. Something to create a really good first impression when you first... We've also got this area. Can't use that because the music in the background. Build a tabletop gaming library here and we'll make them today as well as we're tackling electrical work, we're getting machines successful, and we've got a very So I guess we should begin where we left. If we're to get this in keeping with the rest of the cave, then we need to... If we're to get this in keeping with the rest of the cave, then we need to stain that CLS wooden frame. And given the conditions this week, it really shouldn't take long at all to dry between applications. And given the conditions this week, it really shouldn't take long at all to dry between applications. I'm using this little tub of Ron Seal Dark Oak. It's a 10 year wood stain apparently. So does that mean we'll get 20 years out of two applications? I don't know, but it's also rainproof. So uh, it's good to prepare for every eventuality. I'll just apply it around the frame itself. I'm not worried about that backboard. We'll tackle that in a moment. And you don't want to watch paint dry. So let's hit fast forward on Neil. Come on, paint faster, man. Let's hit fast forward. So let's hit. I like the let's hit fast forward on Neil, but um, Let's hit fast forward on Neil. Come on. But I'm not sure what we can use it for. Come on, paint faster, man. Once the first coat is dried, I put on a second coat to get a slightly deeper color. And then I don't want the wood backing to be visible through the game boxes. And it will be because the games are all different shapes and sizes. So I've decided to like clad in the wool just stapling that seems to do the job for what we need here. The next step is to create that display of big box games, and that's harder than it looks. While a lot of games, and that's harder than, and that's harder than it looks. I don't know, but you know, innuendo. Uh, here. Bonk, it, well, a lot of games as, stick to f I said just before you arrive, it, it's just as childish as you can get. <laughs> games stick to <laughs> fairly uniform sizes. There's plenty of variety in the box sizes. It's like a great big game of Tetris, only one where I want to lose the game and fill up all of the lines. I nearly <laughs> achieved perfection, but I did have <laughs> to use a cassette in the middle to get that final spacing in a way that I thought was about right. He's such a, a very pleasant, he's a very pleasant uh, YouTuber to listen to around about the center of the display because it should be hidden there but we'll find out towards the end if i've hit the center or not i really enjoyed putting this display out towards the end find out towards the end if i've hit the center or not but we'll find out towards the end if i've hit the center or not i really enjoyed putting this display together i must have looked but we'll find out towards the end if i but we'll uh, what do you think I really enjoyed putting this display together. I must have looked at it over a hundred times now and it still gives me a huge nostalgia here every time I look at it. So I think I'm doing something right here, hopefully. And it still gives me a huge nostalgia here every time I look at it. So I, so I think, I think, I'm, uh, I think, yeah. 
but I think I'm doing something right here. Hopefully you agree and you get the same feeling when you see it. <laughs> to protect the games, I've got some Perspex sheets. They're as large as the supplier was willing to ship them to me without fear of the breaking. So there is a split down. Next, I went ahead and ver mm. there is a split down the middle and we'll hide that with some wooden cladding. No. Next, I went ahead and very, very carefully drilled holes in it. The last thing I wanted to do was crack these sheets. And you can see it's got a lightly smoked finish, which I'm hoping will give while offering some UV protection to the artwork itself. A few finishing touches now, including the board down the middle, which goes to show that my cassette is not in the center of the... If I've hit that, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a hard, yeah, I thought about it. It's a hard one to use because it's just... Um... You need, you need, you need uh, something before and and something after. Playing really. it's still visible, so I'm going to need to get back in and shuffle the games around. No problem there. And I've added a stained piece of CLS along the bottom to act as a kickboard. I've also routed it a little bit to accommodate the center board. And while it does offer some protection, there's still a danger of the whole thing getting whacked by clumsy feet. And while it does offer some protection, this. And while it does offer some protection. This uh protection is that something we can use with the uh security concern of people uh quote later on danger of the whole thing getting whacked by clumsy feet but there's always a balance to these things the risk versus the visual reward without me by being overly cautious i'm happy with the overall finish to this and i think and i hope that it's a really nice way to start your journey into the cave by coming up to this desk Let's cover off a few more jobs now, starting with getting those cables tidy in the exhibition space. It doesn't matter how nice I try and make this place look. If trailing cables are hanging down behind desks, it's all and it's a lot of desks to sort out. If you look up cable trays specifically made for desks, it's going to get expensive, really expensive, very quickly. Expensive made for desks, it's going to get it's going to get expensive, really expensive, very quickly. So I've sourced these three meter lengths of cable trays, which are normally used for more industrial applications. They're normally mounted overhead and I paired them up with these. These are C-shaped support brackets and the size of the tray should mean that we have plenty of room for everything we could ever want to squeeze onto those desks. Everything we could ever want to squeeze on for everything we could ever want to squeeze plenty of room for everything. We have plenty of room. We have I mean... How did I let this one pass? We have plenty of room for everything we could ever want to squeeze on. <laughs> for everything we could ever want to squeeze Want to squeeze on. Squeeze. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like M12 again. Um, I will tackle cable management, and while we're at it, I thought I'd upgrade the saddle clips on the desk. That's those clips that hold the wooden tops to the scaffold poles. The ones I bought previously did the job, but I happened upon these much more substantial clips, and I thought it would be worth swapping them out as we're under there, so we'll do that. The men for this job were our friends Dean and Mark, who carried out some minor adjustments. And I'm pleased to say that after ripping two pairs of trousers in as many episodes, and I'm pleased to say that after ripping two pairs of trousers, uh, the industrial application. Yeah, I, I might come back to that. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh. Many episodes. Dean has treated himself to some new ones. These even have knee pads, luxury trousers. So while the guys are working on that, I decided it was time to install a sound system in the cave. Now don't get all audio file and snobby on me here. This is to flood the cave out with low level ambient music. It's to create a nice atmosphere while you're scenes. And of course it will have the added bonus of entertaining me while I'm making videos here. I've got eight speakers in total, all of which have a 100 volt transformer in them and a suitable amp to drive them. And at this point, I must say a big, big thank you to Rob here from the YouTube channel. He popped in. Not only that, he turned up with donuts. Yeah, there wasn't much interest. And likewise to join. To get cables to the speakers, I made use of. And I put the amp in the storeroom. Cool. I like it. But it does have a good feature set for this particular space. Namely, I can leave an SD card in it and it will automatically play as soon as it's turned on. So I can just set and forget. 
It lets me connect by Bluetooth and I can get down the whole length of the cave well. And clean up on aisle five, please. Let's see how the cable trays are doing under the desks. Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. The trays under the desks are going to do a great. We have that, don't we? Well, I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. Yeah. The trays under the desks are going to do a great job. And in keeping with the scaffold design of the desk, I think it works really well. Let's just walk along the benches here. And I think that's pretty inviting. Or at least it will be when you've got something to sit on. No distractions from hanging cables, just lots of nice micros in no particular order at the moment. I just grabbed what I could and I grabbed what I could. The moment I just grabbed the moment I I mean I just grabbed what I could. I just grabbed We're getting all these uh, all these ones now. I just grabbed what I could. And I'm pleased to say that after ripping two pairs of trousers <laughs> <laughs> trousers is going to get expensive really expensive very quickly we have plenty of room for everything we could ever want to squeeze <laughs> oh my god it's ridiculous <laughs> it's just ridiculous i just grabbed what i could and i'm pleased to say that after ripping two pairs of trousers we have plenty of room for everything we could ever want to squeeze anyway anyway and of course when it's all finished and we come to open we'll have some logic to the way they're laid out as well as information plaques and help on how to use them but what we won't have is cable issues that's the key here today but again it's a nice tidy finish for now and over on the shaky cam now you can see that the new saddle clips are much less likely to cause harm to anyone who catches themselves on them compared to the previous clips He's really done a, a great job, actually, of thinking of stuff like that as well in the in the in the place. And if I'm going to attract visitors, oh yeah, okay. All of which wood grain background or a mill pond, perhaps a blog, a gas dot com. So what have we had to change our mind? So what have we had to change our mind on? Well, first of all, I'm sorry for this. So what have we had to change our mind on? Well, first of all, I'm sorry if there's a bit of background noise. I've got all of the windows open. It's been such a hot week that I've got to get the air in here. The good news is if I open the windows front and back, the air does come through here. And that's really important. If we're going to have 30 bodies in here or so, we need to keep that temperature down. So that's good news. It just means we can hear the weir, possibly if the mic's yeah, picking yeah, it up, it really crashing has. it down in the background. Possibly if the mic's picking it up, crashing it down in the background. Anyway, things that we've changed our mind on. You remember we've got these satellite tables dotted around the exhibition area. The idea was to have power like this coming down to each table with an extension plank on the bottom so that we can have a system on each one without cables as trip hazards. However, we only did one and we thought this just isn't going to work really. As lovely as this braided red cable is, there are too many dangers. For example, if a kid tries to climb in it, or, or an adult for that matter, uh, it's going to pull out the junction box. Yes, we could replace that with a plug or something more quick release, but it's still a danger. If the table gets tipped over, well, that's going to rip it out of the socket, which is under here. There are just too many factors. And the only way really that we can think to secure that would be to put a solid pole down there. And then, well, it's going to look like an exotic dancers club, isn't it? That's not the look I'm trying to get here at all. And thinking about it more as we introduce, that's not the look I'm trying to get here at all. And thinking about it more as we introduce more things like the furniture for the tabletop gaming, uh, the museum type displays that we want to put in the other end of the room. As we put more and more stuff in here, I become more and more aware that there's less room for the, for the meat, <laughs> for the meat in the retro sandwich. What you people you who come and visit. You need tables like this to sit at. You need benches. You need chairs. And so actually, it's probably a much better idea if we just have these tables empty in the middle of the exhibition area. So you can bring your tabletop games. So you can put your coffee here, not next to the machines. So you can have your sandwiches or whatever. I think it's important that we have the next to the machines. You can have your you can have your sandwiches or whatever. I think it's important that we have those spaces. And I'll compensate for that by having more benches around the perimeter of the exhibition space with more cable trays now that we know they're successful and um, more machine setups. So we're not going to lose out on the number of hands-on machines. 
In fact, with the plans I'm concocting, we're actually going to get more machines than we would have originally had with these tables. So we're going to do away with this. It was a nice idea while it, la while it lasted, but I think it's the wrong idea for this space. What a shame. Okay. Uh... It's time to work on a whole new corner of the cave now, and I'm kitting it out with these beautiful pigeonholes. They're lovely solid wood with lots of character. I love the little numbers that have been painted on these, and they were well worth the effort of carrying them all the way up to the top of the mill. That was a workout, I can tell you. On these will go electronic tabletop games, handheld. They must have been pretty, um, they're pretty hefty. Yeah? Uh, I'd sit you uh, even bring upstairs. Yeah, it's like a uh, solid pine. It's probably scaffolding wood that was used or something. These will go electronic tabletop, handhelds, game and watch devices, a whole library of them if you like. And you will be supervised, so someone will be able to help you to use the right power adapter or batteries to get them up and running. And then you can take the power adapter or batteries batteries to get them up batteries to get them up and running okay. and then you can take them off to a table and try them out and yes these cases will need to be firmly secured to the walls and to each other to avoid any accidents with them falling over i will do that before opening up i think that's looking pretty good let's get some games on them these aren't all of them we have more boxes to come but i thought i'd put them out just to give us an impression of how it's all going to look and lots of them are in their original boxes which is a really nice touch it gives the whole thing a kind of a shop feel and a real nice feel touch it gives the whole thing original boxes which is a really nice which is a which is a really nice touch it gives the whole thing a kind of a shop feel and a real nice feeling of stepping back in time if you like the white wall behind these shelves is the perfect and I've lined the backs of the shelves with yeah, them. Yeah, there wasn't much in those sections, was there? I remember we just uh, went through them and it was like, it was a bit of an anti-climax after, uh, after the good stuff. I think this has turned out great. It's the real look that I was going for, the kind of old school, the real look great. It's the great. It's the real look that I was going for, the kind of shop I was going for. the kind of old school shop that nostalgia hit when you look at all the old boxes as i said there's a lot more tabletop games to come i think of course the nintendo game and watch ones will be really popular and i think um, mark's these all belong to mark by the way who was doing the um, cable trays earlier he's got a lot more game and watches to come so i think they'll be popular as will all of them um, so long as we make sure people get the right power supplies and the right batteries to easily enjoy them of course, you want to see the lighting, which I've got on a smart plug, so I should be able to turn my phone. There we go, set to blue at the moment, but I can set it to any number of colours. I just liked the blue. And um, yeah, I think it's a good look. I'm pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think we have as much as we can. Yeah, there's a little bit. We'll finish that file and then... Uh... And um, yeah, I think it's a good look. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there are more considerations to think about it's right by the exit so of course security is something some of you have raised in previous episodes how are we going to make sure things that are just loose on shelves aren't going to get nicked well it's something that we need to consider i think it's going to involve scanners and rfid tags and all of it's going to involve scanners and i think it's going to involve scanners and i don't know why. i think it's going to involve scanners scanners but i like that i like that line for some reason that are just loose on shelves aren't going to get an RFID tags and all of that business further down the line but it's certainly a consideration further down the line as well further down the line for some reason further down the line but it's certainly a consideration for this area where it's right next to the exit and very easy to just pick something like that up so it is on the radar don't worry so just a little line like that, or it is on the radar, don't worry. It is on the radar, don't worry. Yeah, that's perfect for something. Just to finish another line. In terms of the look, I just want to bring the camera around here and show you this. I'm standing at the entrance to the cave here, so you get the reception desk, you get the arcade, you get the exhibition space, you get the handhelds, but as you look down the room, what I really like about this is you get the edge of the handheld shelves which come into the room. Behind that you'll have the reading area and that lovely orange and blue wall. 
Behind that, you have the lights of the studio. So it gives you a sense that not only is it one great big room, there's also lots of smaller areas in which you can explore. So it gives you that element of exploration rather than seeing everything all at once. There's more that element. It gives you that element of exploration. I thought I had that. Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Actually, let's bring everything closer here just to, for just tidiness sake. Uh, nearly done. Rather than seeing everything all at once. There's rather than seeing everything all at once. There's, <laughs> there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I'll work further on creating more spaces like that. Of course, the ultimate space would be the secret arcade if we ever hit that goal of 2,000 patrons in order to that, but that's way down the line. But having put these shelves up now, it's really starting to come together for me. The ideas that I had in my head, I'm really starting to see them come to fruition. I'm really starting to satisfy and we'll continue to work on that, uh, especially with the reading area. I'm so happy with these shelves that I'm going to get in touch with the guy who provided them, Mark. Uh, there's a link in the video description, by the way. He's based in Brighton on the south coast of the UK. If you happen to be in the market for these, I highly recommend him. And I'm going to get him to make some up which are the right size because he does bespoke furniture as well for our magazines. So we'll have another L shape back there for the reading area. Also to go in the reading area is the very special parcel which arrived, which you saw at the start of this episode. I've been waiting weeks to open this. I've been saving it for you on this video. And now finally we get to open it and have a look. So let's go and do that now. Now. So what do you think it is then? I think some of you can perhaps get... Yeah, I think we're good. Bread. Yeah. Okay. Check Thank you very one. much, guys. I love it. And I hope you can come and visit sometime. Well, it's been a hell of a week. Really productive, hard work, but I'm really happy with uh, how it's come out. We got that reception area done. Really love that. It could do with a bit of lighting. I don't really want to line the inside with LED lights. You can go a bit overboard with the, with the LEDs. It can get a bit tacky, particularly if you can see the individual dots of the LEDs. I don't like that. I like the light to kind of dissipate and spread and look nice. So I think I'd rather have a couple of spotlights above the reception area looking down. But I think ambience, spotlights, rugs, things like that, that can come right at the end. We'll, we'll take stock of the room as a whole and decide where everything needs to be. The tabletop gaming area, really happy with that. And we're going to mimic that in the reading area because I'm so happy with those pigeonholes that we're going to get some made up by the same guy, Mark. And again, details in the description if you want to uh, purchase some of those. He's based in Brighton, but he will deliver far and wide. Uh, if he will deliver, but he will deliver far and wide. I mean, we said no earlier, but uh, if you want anything like that. That if you want anything like that, I can't remember if we use that. We might have. Um, so we'll get some cases made up that will fit magazines from him. We'll mimic that in the reading area. Of course, the cocktail cabinet will go in the reading area. Lots of comfy chairs, more spaces for the meat, as I called you earlier. I must think of a better name. Um, the cave dwellers, of course, the cave dwellers. More room for you to come and sit and relax because it's not all about um, the cave dwellers. Of course, the cave dwellers. More room more room. For more room for you to come and sit there's more room for you to come and sit and relax because it's not all about sitting here constantly playing games it's about just taking in the ambience and being together and chatting with one another um it, it's not a solitary activity coming to the cave it's um it, it's not a um it's uh um it, it's not a um it yeah it, it's not a solitary activity coming to the cave it's a cave it's yes it's a very much a social one of course we need stools around here at the moment having tried a few things and thought of a few things i'm thinking wooden science lab style stools uh, because they'll tuck under there now. and i know some of you will say well they'll be uncomfortable well there, there's kind of a point to that because we want people to enjoy and play them but not there's kind of a point to that because we want people to enjoy and play them but not hog them so if you're a little bit uncomfortable we want people to enjoy and comfortable that sounds a bit mean so if you're a little bit uncomfortable 
Now it sounds a bit mean, but it might encourage you to shift on to the next machine and let other people play on them. But it might encourage you to shift on to the next machine and let other people play on to the next machine and let other other there's a meaning in there <laughs> it might encourage you to shift other people play <laughs> uh. sounds a bit mean <laughs> on them there's method to the madness um so lots to think about lots to do now you'll remember i had the lights in the tabletop gaming area on a smart plug i've gone a bit smart plug happy so much so that the cave is now on a smart plug and I've got a little button on my phone. Do lights above me turn on. The RG starts playing automatically. All the machines on the workbench come on. The only other thing I have to do is press the button on the remote to go to the SCAR input on these Sony monitors or TVs. At the press of a single button, the cave comes alive and uh, we're ready to go. And that will follow through to the other workbench. That will all be on smart plugs, the arcade, everything. I'm addicted to smart plugs. What arcade? Everything. Plugs, the arcade, every, every. I like that everything. Again, don't know what we'll use. I'm addicted for. to smart plugs. What can I say? And I've also, of course, got a cave off button. There we go. That's enough of that nonsense. It's all coming together beautifully. And uh, I can't leave you today without saying a huge thank you to you for making this possible. Okay, and that was a patron stuff then after that. Um, great, I think we've, like we, we got all this extra stuff. Yeah, once you, once you sort of have a, 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 a couple of threads going, um, you can just go back, you do a second pass and go back and get little fillers like that and extra bits that might uh, develop those ideas. You people who come and visit, there's more than meets the eye when you first come in. And I know some of you will say, well, they'll be uncomfortable. It's been such a hot week. It's all coming together beautifully. And now, finally, we get to open it and have a look. So uh, let's go and do that now. Let's room for the, for the meat, for the meat in the retro sandwich. This just isn't going to work, really. More spaces for the... That's enough of that nonsense. <laughs> Uh, he was he was very graceful uh with the uh, the other one hopefully yeah uh, <laughs> hopefully he'd be just as graceful with this one but uh i he knows it's done with uh <laughs> nothing but love and appreciation i've been to a few of his streams as well uh, just to say hi and uh, i sort of hinted that um there there might be a there might be another one in the making but i will uh, send this to him first before i release it of course anyway folks uh, that's been uh, that's been quite a while um i initially just wanted to uh, just get the footage but we got a little bit of a idea for t background music for it uh, you people who little breaks i need to come up with a sort of verse chorus type of stuff um link them together uh and then obviously you just match better the footage a bit better. But um, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, plenty more work to do, and uh, it's quite late. Uh, and I could have been in full screen all that time. Uh, let me just check: is uh, is anybody streaming that I know? Uh, Jackson Jackson is playing uh, uh, Dark Souls again. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. anybody doing music? He is actually, I don't know what he's doing. No, so. Yeah, anyway, never mind. Uh, folks, have a good night and uh, we, we'll talk soon. Um, I think I'll leave it at that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Probably, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, folks, um, have a good night, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk to you maybe maybe again tomorrow, or uh, if not Monday. Anyway, uh, thank you for stopping by, Leo. Thank you very much for the uh, for the subs, uh, gifts, and vampire as well. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good night, and um, you only join here at the end. 
Yeah, it's not the most glamorous or, or exciting type of stream, but it's just it's it's funny to do w with other people, especially stuff like that. It's just uh, it's cool to get some participation as well. Like, and uh, as you can see, Fixato is getting very excited <laughs> about some uh, some elements. Anyway, uh, good night and uh, talk to you soon. MIDI coming from my DAW into all of this.